Can I ask you a question, you? Can I ask you a question? What are you asking me? What's up, buddy? I'm asking you right now. Who's that guy? What's I'm up? asking you a question. Go ahead, ask me a question. Okay. Uh, you we came a long way, and uh, Blaine Hayes uh, came a long way too, ran for the leadership. And uh, you didn't support him during the leadership. Remember, you walked by. What, what was her name again? Monica. Monica. And then we came from there. Yeah. And then God got by God, be by God. Next thing you know, your minister. How do you think, Mr. Higgs, when the native says they strongly urge Mr. Higgs to reappoint you as minister of Aboriginal Affairs? Could you call it? Aboriginal Affairs. Okay. So, telling the native, the native telling Higgs to reappoint you. Is that a uh, compliment? Is that a uh, coup de grace? Uh, to me, it's a, it's, a, it's a big compliment. I mean, I think it's a big compliment because my job was to build a relationship, and if I, and that's what I tried to do the entire time. So if if in the end they want me back, then I feel like I did what I was supposed to do, and stayed honest and tried to build a mutual understanding and respect. And, no, like I took it as a big compliment. As for oh, it's a compliment, no question about it. As for the premier, like they're his decisions and everything, oh, but I, I really appreciated their support like oh, that. But, you know, but you don't you don't tell Hayes what to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Oh. Well, so would that hurt hurt you? <laughs> oh, I have no. I'm being sarcastic. No, I'm here. being honest with you. I have no idea. I don't think so. I mean, I mean, he'll make his decisions based on what's best, uh, what he thinks is best, and from there we'll all move on and live with it you know that's that's generally what happens yeah no no we're just surprised but i really appreciated it from them like i didn't expect that i mean i knew we had a good relationship and we, we i worked hard we tried they were they were good too like they, they were good to work with and uh i think we we did have a good relationship so i mean i i really felt humbled by that to be yeah. Yeah. but i thought it was a big uh uh minus for uh, them ordering takes to reappoint you. I thought, you know, that's, this is not good. I think, I mean, my take on it is they, from my understanding, from working with the Chiefs, there's never, well, there's never a full-time minister before me. So they probably didn't have a very strong relationship with anyone before that, like in our history. So they probably got used to having somebody full-time and we had a good relationship and it worked fairly well. So I think, uh, I don't think it was a demand by them. I think it was their way of saying they liked the way it was. Um, so you don't feel it was a, a, the kiss of death? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Revelation. Thanks, buddy. What's that in there? Uh, this is to commemorate the residential school survivors. It's on the uh, on the 30th of September is when they when you're supposed to wear it. But I, I seen it this morning and I wanted to put it on today to show some solidarity on that too. But anyway, I appreciate it. All good.